In order to succeed with any goal, whether that's doing well in your career, becoming wealthy, or even just getting fit, we are told we should make whatever sacrifices we need to make in the present now, or in other words, delay our gratification, so one fine day we can reap the rewards of all our hard work. You save money today so you can buy a house tomorrow. You put in the reps today so you can become stronger tomorrow. You work long, hard days now so you can earn more money tomorrow. And yes, there is huge value to that, but there is also a cost to always living for a better tomorrow. Either that better tomorrow never comes or it comes and you realize that having that house or making more money doesn't actually make you as happy as you'd hoped for. And you quickly move on to the next goal and then the next goal and the next goal and you keep postponing your happiness. So what's the alternative? The alternative is what Dr. Ellen Langer of Harvard University calls ever-present gratification, where you make the process just as enjoyable and desirable as reaching the final destination, where you build in moments of joy and play into your daily routine. You celebrate the many, many small milestones along the way instead of only waiting to celebrate until you reach the final outcome. You allow yourself a small treat every day instead of being super strict with your diet. You make time to play and be silly with your kids or your friends on a regular basis instead of only waiting until you have the time. Not only does this make the process of reaching any goal a lot more enjoyable, when you attach the release of dopamine, the reward hormone, to the process as much as to the final outcome, as Dr. Andrew Huberman of the Stanford School of Medicine points out, you actually build the grit that it takes to stick to any goal for the long term. So the question I leave you with is, how can you infuse more joy and play into the process of reaching your goals?